Hi there! If you're interested in doing your bachelor's degree, your master's degree or your doctorate degree abroad in Europe, then this video is for you so make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video as I'll be giving you details about the SPI Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship that is currently open and accepting applications. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel and thank you for 300 subscribers. We've really come a long way. Um, it's, it's like a dream come true. I didn't really expect my channel to grow at this rate and I'm very, very grateful to each and every one of you here who've taken their time to subscribe. And if you're here, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to your girl's channel so that we can hit the 500 subscribers milestone together. So without further ado, let's get into the details of this opportunity to apply for this scholarship. So the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship is, um, is a scholarship that is issued by the Hungarian government. It gives you an opportunity to go to Hungary and study there. And uh, it covers everything that is from um, your accommodation to your tuition fees, uh, your visa and also your flight ticket. So it's a really, really good opportunity. And you might be asking yourself what uh, level of programs are available for this scholarship. So this is open to people who would like to pursue their bachelor's degree. Uh, these are people who just completed high school or completed high school a way back. Uh, well, there are some uh, there are some qualifications or rather uh, as a criteria for qualification, which I'll share in this video. But the program is open to bachelor's degree applicants, master's degree applicants, and doctorate degree applicants. So if you're in either of the three categories, this program is for you. So you might be asking, what is the application procedure? So I'm just going to explain it in uh, details, step by step. So the first thing that you need to do is go to Google or whatever browser that you're using and key in stipendium.hungaricum and it's going to take you to the home page of this program. So you confirm which country you're from. Myself, I'm from Kenya. So I'm going to click that yes, I'm from Kenya. And then you're going to have to create an account guys please note that if you don't create an account where you got you get to log in before starting your application you're going to lose the progress you've made in the application process so please before you commence on applying for this um, scholarship make sure you first create an account which is where you key in your email address and your password and they're going to send you a confirmation link to your email and then once you confirm your account, you can now start the application process. And guys, need this, note that this step is very important. Make sure that you check the languages for the courses before you proceed with the application. This is to avoid um, applying for a course that is going to be taught in a language that you do not understand. And uh, this being the case, you will have to dedicate time once you land in Hungary. You're going to dedicate time to learning that particular language. So if, if you studied in English or rather your, your language of instruction from your country was English, like myself in Kenya, please make sure that you check the box of English and uncheck all other boxes of Hungarian language, German language, yeah, please make sure you go to that category and tick the correct box of the language and also select the correct uh, type of program. If you're applying for a bachelor's degree, make sure you've only ticked the bachelor's. If you're applying for a master's, there are two categories of master's. There's the one tier master's and there's the full master's program. So please make sure you tick the correct one. Yes, this is a very, very important step. So guys, make sure that you adhere to this. Now, the next step is uh, to ensure that you read, the, you read the requirements for the course that you want to apply for. Please note that there are different, um, there are different 
programs, learning programs. Uh, if it's masters, there's MBA. There's a lot of programs. So, and each program has its own set of requirements based on the university that is offering the course. So, guys, before you select a course for the application program, be very keen and check what are the requirements because a uh, case in example is some courses require you to have an ielts test yes uh, this can be some accept one from duolingo others accept different types of ielts programs so please make sure that you check especially the english language requirements please check what kind of um, qualification in terms of the language that this program requires again you're supposed to apply to two programs maximum of two programs if it's masters it's two if it's bachelor's it's two courses so please make sure you check the requirements for each of the two courses that you're choosing before you proceed with the application process another tip is that if you're from kenya like myself or another country who's language of instruction is English. Um, in Kenya, we learn in English um, from the moment we get into school, we the language of instruction is English. So in this particular case, if your case is like mine, you do not need to do the IELTS test. However, you need to contact your school so that they provide you with documentation. It's a form of a letter that shows that your language of instruction in that particular university was English. Or when you're submitting your documents to the Ministry of Education, you can also request them to give you a write-up to show that the language of instruction in your country is in English. So in this case, you will not require to have an IELTS um, score exam, right? Now, another tip is guys i know we're in the era of chat gpt and it goes a long way in um, writing essays for us for this scholarship you will have to write a personal statement and they've given you a set of questions that are going to guide you as you write this personal statement it's more of a document or an essay that sells you as an individual why they should consider you there are so many applicants why do you think you are deserving of this scholarship so tips for this i only have two tips which are very important the first tip is first of all when you're using Ch you can use chat gpt all right but please make sure that after chat gpt has drafted the essay for you the personal statement essay for you please take your time and re-edit it. Why? Because nowadays there are technologies that are going to detect essays written by artificial intelligence, by AI, and this is going to automatically disqualify you for this scholarship. So please, while you use ChatGPT, please be wise in using it. Let it just be a guide. Do not let it do the work for you. Let it draft an essay for you, and then now you can paraphrase it. Uh, the second tip is you're provided with questions. Please make sure that you answer each of the questions that have been asked in, um, I think there are about five. Make sure you answer the five questions in your personal statement essay. Yes. So guys, um, I really wish you well in the application process and I hope that you really get to win this scholarship and go study in Hungary. Uh, the link to the application is down below in the video description. So please, guys, click on the link and make sure you apply for this scholarship. Thank you so much. And please, if you haven't subscribed up to this point, do so. I'll going, I'm going to hook you up with more programs like this. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Love you.